Welcome to this week's episode of The Lead Verified. I'm Carla Kokoris. And I'm Alexis Greaves. Let's dive right in. Alexis, we have a lot to talk about today. So The Bachelor finally ended and they announced that there are two bachelorettes and two new hosts to replace Chris Harrison. What do you think of these shakeups? You know, are they trying to really just grasp at straws and try and, you know, make themselves look better? Or do you think that this is a real genuine move forward? You know, I do feel like they're kind of grasping at straws, as you mentioned. Um, I just feel like they, it's a little bit forced, but I am intrigued to see how they're going to introduce more BIPOC representation on their crews, as they mentioned, mentioned on their socials, and how they're just going to grow from the whole situation. Yeah, I really do think that they are trying to desperately put out this fire that they themselves you know started um and i know a lot of people are not happy with the franchise or kind of just over it in general myself included so let's see how things you know shake up and really move forward after this need a new fun activity we have something that hits it right on the target the leads kenny mason shows us how the axe trap is bringing the community together vascular surgeons by day and owners of the axe trap by night David Varnegy and Manny Perez wanted to provide an exciting gathering place for people to enjoy. The location was renovated to look like a 1920s warehouse with an industrial yet modern feel. It has a lounge area and restaurant. And there's even a place to get your coffee fix. Varnegy says he thinks this place will entertain people while providing a relaxing restaurant environment. The owners of this new addition to Winter Park hope to bring people of all cultures and ages together for axe throwing fun. For the lead, I'm Kennedy Mason. Alexis, that looked like so much fun. Honestly, I know that there is a similar concept here in Gainesville. So now that I am 21, I am very excited to try. Very, very much so. I am very excited. It looks like an awesome way to just let off some steam, you know, go hang out with some friends and get off some of that frustration, you know, with work and like life that's going on. It just looks like a great fun activity to do. So date next week? Bet. <laughs> 2020 was the year of the home, and in 2021, we're bringing some of that along with us. The lead's Ashley Weinstein shows us what are some of the biggest 2021 home trends so far. Social media stars and YouTubers, Aspen Ovard, Nobella Noor, and Kendall Jenner put their own twist on 2021 home decor trends in their spaces. Aspen takes on a cottagecore mix of simplistic and glamour for a cozy yet traditional feel. Areas such as her living room, master bedroom, and daughter's playroom all highlight cottagecore aesthetics. Nabella uses houseplants, vintage, and earthy grounded shades to invite those into her elegant, polished, and trendy space. Her kitchen, laundry room, and dining area use these trends. Kendall uses warm colors and classic traditionalism with her dark green kitchen cabinets and warm color palette decor, while incorporating artwork displayed through her living areas. Different homes represent different stories. In the words of interior design expert Nate Burkus, I believe your home tells a story about who you are and who you aspire to be. We represent ourselves through the things we own. For The Lead, I'm Ashley Weinstein. That's it for this week's episode of The Lead Verified. I'm Alexis Greaves. And I'm Carla Kokora. Stay tuned for this Monday's episode of The Lead where it's a woman empowerment themed episode. Bye guys. Bye.